$20 bill may be small and easily spent, but it has some big stories about the growth of Australia in the 20th century. The symbols on the $20 note represent many of the achievements and innovations of the Royal Flying Doctor Service, an organisation that has changed the lives of people living in outback Australia. The face featured on the note is John Flynn, a minister and school teacher, who spent his early years travelling around outback Australia helping people in remote communities. While working as a minister, he saw how difficult life was for people who lived and worked in the outback as most of the Australian population live around the red dots on this map. He called the people who lived in the other parts of Australia the Inlanders and founded the Australian Inland Mission to help support them. Inlanders were far away from shops, schools, libraries, railways, doctors, hospitals and other people. Often John Flynn was the only non-family member that they would see for months at a time. He began to dream of ways that he could make life better for them. Flynn made his visits on a camel, but they were very slow and often uncomfortable to ride. Despite this, he gained the nickname, the Camel Man. One day, Flynn heard the story of a man called Jimmy Darcy, who was a stockman from Western Australia. After suffering from a fall from his horse, Darcy was badly injured. With no doctors at hand, his friends drove him 12 hours to the local postmaster who had some first aid training, while a doctor in Perth gave him instructions via telegraph. The operation was a success, but Darcy died of malaria and a ruptured appendix before the doctor could reach him. This story started Flynn thinking about ways that doctors could be brought to their patients from anywhere in Australia. He was dreaming of planes. In 1916, Hugh Victor McKay, a businessman and childhood friend of Flynn, left a large sum of money for Flynn's aerial experiment. The first airplane hired by Flynn and featured on the note was named the Victory after Hugh Victor McKay. It flew the first doctor from Cloncurry, Queensland on the 17th of May 1928. Once Flynn had started building his fleet of planes, he began thinking of ways that he could improve communication in the outback so the patient could easily call for a doctor. He found the ideal solution when a young man named Alfred Traeger developed the pedal radio in 1929. The caller would move the pedals like a bicycle to generate enough power to make the call. While they were now able to call the doctor, without a face-to-face -face consultation, some patients had trouble describing the location of their pain over the radio. In 1951, a nurse named Lucy Garlick created the body chart to overcome this issue. Each station was sent a chart with the body divided into sections with a number or a letter. When asked, where does it hurt? They were able to respond with a number or a letter. John Flynn and his work were first featured on the $20 note in 1994 and remain an important part of Australia's geographic history today. Hopefully you'll never look at a $20 bill quite the same way again.